5 Best Places to Visit in Umbria, Italy Umbria is a charismatic Italian region bordered by the rolling greenery of Tuscany, La Marche, and Lazio, characterized by medieval hill towns, gorgeous lakes, fascinating Roman ruins, and lip-smacking local cuisine. It's the epitome of holiday heaven. Forage for truffles, taste fine Italian wines, and uncover the history of Italy's patron saints. Whether you're looking for a spiritual escape in ever-popular Perugia, or you'd prefer the quieter slow life of Narni, Umbria truly has it all. Number 5. Spoleto Spoleto is one of those rare non-touristy towns, totally off the beaten path. This medieval village has a steep historical center, accessible via a travelator that dates back to 241 BC, inhabited by the original Umbri tribes in the 5th century BC, who built fortifying walls that can still be seen today. It was only in 774 that it became part of the Holy Roman Empire, when one of the Dukes of Lombard made it their official residence, chosen as the filming location for the famous Italian soapy, Don Matteo, because it depicts a typical Italian town yet to be overrun by tourists. Spoleto promises all the best things about Italy lovely restaurants, hearty cuisine, and fantastic wines. Don't miss the black truffles and red wine from Montefalco. Start at Rocca Albornas, the symbol of the city, and admire the views across Spoleto. These views compete with those from the 13th century Ponte del Torre Tower Bridge, which connects the Senilia Hill with Monte Luco. Other notable sites include the 12th century Romanesque Santa Maria Assunta Cathedral, the Mori Palace, the Church of San Ansano and San Gregorio Magier the St. Isaac Crypt, and the Arch of Drusus and Germanicus. Don't miss the 1st century AD Roman theater. Perhaps you'll be lucky enough to catch a ballet performance. Number 4. Gubbio. Gubbio is a medieval town in northeastern Umbria. Despite being so close to Assisi, it's surprisingly set off the main tourist track. Surrounded by avocado countryside and connected to Mount Ingino via a scenic cableway, this hillside Italian town is undeniably magical. When it comes to authenticity, architecture, and atmosphere, Gubbio has it all. Dating back to pre-Roman times, Gubbio is one of Umbria's oldest towns. The town center is a pleasing mix of medieval, Gothic, and Renaissance architecture, built from grey limestone. It's known as the City of Fools because you can obtain a madman's license and Yugubina citizenship by merely circling the small fountain in Largo Bargello three times. Start with a visit to the Gothic Consoli Palace. Built in the 1300s, it's now one of the town's most prominent icons, home to the Big Bell and the Seven Yugubin Tables, dating back to the 3rd century BC. Other must-do activities include a visit to Gubbio Cathedral with its 16th century paintings and Baroque chapel the 15th century Duke's Palace, the 1st century AD Roman ruins just outside the city walls, and a cable car ride up to Basilica of Santibaldo. Rangiasi Park, set along the old walls, offers one of the best views of Gubbio. While you're here, fill up on dishes cooked with white truffles and bristango fried bread, served with meat, onion, and rosemary. Leave room for the local dessert the Ganeshini of the Sisters of St. Lucia, which are served with barcarol barley coffee and anisette. Number 3. Perugia. Nestled within central Umbria, Perugia is the region's thriving capital. This picturesque Etruscan town is charmingly medieval, with a backdrop dominated by Italy's largest fortress, the Rocca Paulina. Believed to be older than Rome, Perugia definitely lives up to its steadfast reputation. Explore Perugia's attractive center overflowing with Etruscan ruins including the 3rd century Sorbello Well. Visit Piazza IV Novembra, where the Fontana Magyar Fountain forms the centerpiece. Other sites include the Italian Art Museum, La Galleria Nazionale dell'Umbria, the Church of Sant'Angelo, and the Monastery of Sant'Agnes. You'll also find the Università per Stranieri, an excellent Italian language school as well as the first wine school in the world in Perugia. As if all that wasn't enough to tempt you to Umbria, Perugia is also the chocolate capital of Italy. It's home to world-famous chocolatier, Perugina, creators of the legendary bossy chocolate kisses. Visit in October and immerse yourself in the Euro Chocolate Festival, with its theater and music performances, cooking demonstrations, and chocolate art exhibitions. Number 2, Orvieto. Perched dramatically on top of enormous tufa cliffs, 
The hillside town of Orvieto is picturesque, easily reached by train or car. It's the perfect day trip from Rome. But there's so much to see and do that you should allow plenty of time. Dating back to Etruscan times, Orvieto is split in two. The old town hilltop and the new town at the base, connected by escalators and elevators, as well as a cable car, the most scenic form of transport. Sprinkled with ancient monuments, tombs, an acropolis, and a network of underground passageways dating back to the Middle Ages, there's much to uncover in this hillside town. Visit the 16th century St. Patrick's Well with its historic spiral staircase. Discover ancient artifacts inside two archaeological museums. Explore the Albornes Fortress and admire the Gothic Duomo Cathedral with its glittering, mosaic-adorned facade and impressive frescoes. Sightseeing and history lessons aside, Orvieto is everything a typical Italian town should be quiet unassuming, and blissfully traffic-free. It's a popular location for shopping, whining, and dining. You can browse local handicrafts and ceramics along Via del Duomo and explore the nearby vineyards for the finest Classico wines. Whatever you do, don't leave without admiring a view of the Umbrian Valley from the Torre del Moro. Number 1. Assisi. Assisi is a captivating commune, with its medieval streets, sacred shrines, entrancing churches, and a spellbinding castle. It's no surprise it's Umbria's most famous town for tourists and pilgrims alike. It was the city where Italy's patron saint, St. Francis, lived and prayed, so it's a spiritual experience for many. Admire the views from the fortress of Rocca Magier and get great shots of Basilica di Santa Chiara and Santuario San Damiano. The 2,000-year-old ancient Roman temple of Minerva is also a fantastic photo opportunity. Take a moment to reflect at Arimo del Carceri, where St. Francis prayed in isolation. Explore the Roman Forum, stroll along via San Francesco, and see St. Rufino Cathedral the church dedicated to Assisi's patron saint, Rufino, which is home to the 12th century crypt of Basilica Eugoniana. You'll need plenty of time to uncover all of Assisi's hidden finds. They vary from Roman ruins and medieval sites to countryside walks along the alpine trails of Monte Sabasio. Get a taste of local history and culture with a visit to the 13th century Romanesque and Italian Gothic Basilica of St. Francis which consists of two parts, the lower and the upper church. It's here that you'll find St. Francis of Assisi's final resting place. Subscribe to our channel for more similar videos.